Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. We switched over instead of a winter storm watch. Now we have in the pink winter storm warnings. That's where the heavier snow is going to be. And the winter weather advisory is where there's less snow, but you're still going to get some snow to the north and northwest. The heaviest is going to be that Tuesday night, Wednesday morning. So that means the biggest travel headache is going to be Wednesday morning. A much lighter commute because of the snow coming in. But if you do have to be on the roads, that's when it's going to be at its worst. It's also going to be at or above freezing. So expect some melting and some slushiness, but it's going to come down so heavy, especially in the morning, it'll overcome some of that melting. The way that happens, by the way, is it may be 32, 33 here at the ground, but just 500 feet above us, it's below freezing. And so that's where the snow is generated from. It'll be generated from this storm, by the way. And that path, see that path right there? That's always key. If that changes a little bit to the north, we would get more snow. If it changes a little bit to the south, we would get less snow. But when it does come through Arkansas, Memphis, southern Illinois, that's a favorable path for heavy snow in our region. We do think the heaviest snow is going to be south of St. Louis, but we're going to get in on that here in the metro with inches of snow eventually. Again, Tuesday night into Wednesday. Right now, clear skies. Nice to have some sunshine. There it is. Beautiful sun on the BJC SkyCam Network from downtown. 47 degrees right now. It's a lovely day for all this talk of uh, snow coming our way. Let's enjoy what we have before it starts to turn a little nasty. We're at 30 degrees in the morning, partly cloudy skies. You're going to notice the clouds increase. We're at 43 at noon and then turning cloudy and 46 for the afternoon high. We're still dry at 6 o'clock. Some areas south may start to get in on some rain, and that's how this will start as rain and then transition over to all snow. So let's go hour by hour. Here we are at 5 o'clock, rain to the south. St. Louis is dry. Here we are by 7 o'clock. We might get a sprinkle around 7 to 8 o'clock on on, but this is still so far rain. By 10 o'clock, I wouldn't be surprised if at this point in St. Louis we're seeing some snowflakes mix in, transitioning to all snow to the south, and then about midnight beyond, this is all snow. Look at that. Overnight right into the Wednesday morning commute. It won't be much of a commute because of this. Wet and heavy snow, it's really easy to pack into snowballs. It's really hard to shovel. 33 degrees, temperature again at or above freezing, but it's coming down so heavy, it's, it's really accumulating. And then here we are by 10 a.m. It's starting to slow down, and then by noon and on, there's still some spotty light snow into the afternoon here or there, but minor to no additional accumulation. The bulk of the snow is really going to be between midnight and about noon. Here's how much it adds up to in St. Louis. I'm thinking about four to five inches, so we're in the three to six inch range, but you go just to the south, south and southeast side of the metro, I think you get the higher total, so four to seven inches, and notice farther to the south, five to nine. Keep in mind, a lot of this is the morning. If you go and look at that snow in the afternoon, because of these temperatures above freezing and melting, it's going to shrink away, and especially in the roads, eventually it'll turn more to slush. That's good news, because I think the roads, especially the, the well-traveled, well-plowed roads, are going to get uh, taken care of quickly in the afternoon, but in the morning, it's an absolute mess. 36 for the high, though. Then Thursday, it's below freezing in the morning. We'll watch for refreeze for any liquid that's out there Thursday morning. Otherwise, the afternoon's cloudy and chilly at 34. There's another system that could bring us some rain and cold air, too, by the way, Saturday into Sunday. It may switch over to some snow on Sunday. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Models don't really agree on it, but they do show some cold air eventually coming our way. Highs are in the 20s on I Monday. There are some kids out there hoping that that means uh, their principals will have a second thought about school on Wednesday, doing a I, little snow dance. I think there'll be a lot of kids <laughs> at Park Hill and sledding around on Wednesday. Yeah, a lot of eyes on your forecast until yeah. then. Steve, thank you. We'll come